Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about some really amazing features that are coming to iOS 16 really, really soon. Of course, iOS 16 is packed with new features, but there are more coming and some of them are actually really, really good. Even though iOS 16 has brought a lot of new features to the iPhone, we still don't have a lot of new features when it comes to managing and editing PDF files. Well, this is where PDF Element comes into play. The app from Wondershare, our sponsor for today's video, will let you easily manage, edit, annotate, sign, and fill PDF files right on your iPhone. It has the ability to set passwords to your PDF files or just add new text and images to an already existing PDF file. And it has some really cool tools. One of my favorite, the ability to actually convert an image into a PDF file or convert a PDF file into other formats like PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. And of course, it lets you also merge PDF files into one or just compress your PDF files in order to take less space on your device. So make sure you go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video. Now let's get started with the first one and it's actually quite a big new feature that will have a lot of use in the future once third party apps start adopting this feature. It is live activities. If you have seen WWC 2022, you probably have seen Apple demonstrating this feature. So it basically allows you to have a live activity from an app right on your lock screen. So let's say maybe a sports app, you're just keeping track of a score, you can have it on your lock screen so you don't actually need to open and use the app. Or something like a timer, for example, if we start a timer right here, you can see on the clock app of iOS, if we go right on the lock screen, you will see the timer right there. So here we have the timer, we have the ability here to pause and start it, or of course close it from here. So really, really great new feature that is coming to iOS 16 with iOS 16.1. There are also more changes on the lock screen which are really welcome. And one of them is the ability to edit the home screen wallpaper directly from the customization part of the lock screen. Now, previously, the only way to actually change the home screen wallpaper separately from the one on the lock screen would be only by going to the settings under the wallpaper section. And now from the lock screen, if you want to change the home screen wallpaper or customize it, you tap right there and you can see we have a new view right here. So we tap on home screen and from here you can change to color, a gradient, or you can completely change your wallpaper or you can enable or disable the blur from the home screen without having to go to the settings app. Another very welcome change on the lock screen, now you will have the percentage of charging right at the top of the clock, just like it used to be before on iOS 15. Now this feature was removed with the release of iOS 16 and now it's back. So if we just plug the device to charge here, you will notice that it will show right there that it's charging right at the top. Once you unlock your device, will actually wake up the device. It will show you right there how much is charged. So that's actually really good. If you don't prefer to use maybe the percentage of battery right there, that's the way you can actually take a look at how much your battery has been charged. And here we have another one for the lock screen. The clock on the lock screen will change colors and it will basically be transparent when you're playing music. Now previously this would be the same color as you have edited. Of course you say you set a color maybe let's say red or blue it would just stay that color. Now it will actually change and it will take the color of the album art wallpapers you can see right there it's actually transparent so in my opinion it makes the lock screen look much much better so you can see it will change to its original color when you don't have the album art right there expanded on the lock screen but of course it will look like transparent when you're playing music and you have here enabled the full album art and here is another great feature of ios 16.1 if you have a device that has the dynamic idle on the iPhone 14 Pro or the 14 Pro Max, you know that sometimes you want to use the dynamic island, but it's actually quite hard to reach it at the top. Well, now it works also with reachability. So if you just invoke the reachability view, of course, by swiping down the screen, it will bring down also the dynamic island. This is a much, much needed feature. Of course, you can work here. It works as normal, but it's actually really, really good. I really like that Apple has done this. It was actually needed because sometimes when you're working, especially, of course, 
just with one hand on your iPhone, you actually need to bring it down and now you can do that just like this. There's also a change on the screenshot menu. So when you take a screenshot, now you will have a new menu. So if we go here and tap the dumb button, you won't get that pop up from here, but you will get this drop down menu here that of course has basically the same option. So you can save to photos, files or to a quick note. Now you have copy and delete in red there and also delete screenshot. Now this is a feature that has been added before. It's actually really good. You copy to your clipboard and it's deleted from your device, much, much needed. But that menu is totally new with iOS 16.1. A really interesting new feature has been added to the battery charging. Now you go to your settings and go under battery and right here under battery health and charging, you can find something called clean energy charging. This is a new feature that Apple has added with iOS 16.1 and it will be enabled by default on your iPhone. So you can see it has actually an explanation here what this does. So it says that on your region, iPhone will try to reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging your iPhone when lower carbon emissions electricity is available. So basically your iPhone will learn from your daily charging and it will try to charge your iPhone of course at full when you need it based on how you charge your iPhone. But this is it basically trying just to make your iPhone as much energy efficient as possible. So that will be enabled by default once you install iOS 16 on your device. And finally, battery percentage is now available for more iPhones. So if you have the iPhone minis, the XR or the iPhone 11, you can finally enable the battery per percentage on the home screen, of course, on the status bar right there. That can, of course, be enabled by simply going to settings, battery, battery percentage right there. And now you can have that battery percentage, which actually wasn't available on a lot of devices. Another change that Apple has done here is that now the battery indicator is actually dynamic. So it will just start lowering here, of course, as your battery lowers. Previously, it would just like stay full until your iPhone drops at 20% and then it would just go all the way back down here. Now it's actually dynamic and it will represent the actual battery life that you have on your iPhone. And last but not least, on your iPhone running iOS 16.1, you can now delete the Apple Wallet app. If you don't want this app or don't use it on your device, you can now finally remove the app and of course completely delete it from your iPhone. So that's it for this video guys. These are 10 new features that are coming to iOS 16 with iOS 16.1 that are actually pretty cool. Now iOS 16.1 is coming pretty soon, probably in about two to three weeks, you can get your hands on iOS 16.1 and install it on your device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 16 videos. I'll see you on the next one.